Hey guys, it's Madison. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got that um, ash blonde color that y'all saw on my TikTok or Instagram or on my post I made on here a couple of days ago. Um, I'm finally getting around to editing all these videos. I have to edit again. Sorry, I went in my A for like a week. Um, but yeah, so this is what the wig looks like. Um, it's yellow, but it's not too yellow. I, I've seen some 613 hair that looks really, really yellow. But still, we're going to lightly tone it before we actually tone it with the Wella toner. So just get some um, warm water and shimmer light shampoo. And we're just going to dip it in there for um, like a minute and just like swish it around in the water. I'm making a TikTok as I film this, so that's why you see my flashlight um, on the hair and everything. So yeah, um, this part, it's not a necessity. I heard that it's just um, good to do this before you color your hair or, what, or whatnot, so whatever. Okay, so these are the colors I'm using. Everything will be linked down below. I got all these toners from sally's beauty or the beauty supply you can get them pretty much any where they sell color like a beauty supply or sally's so yeah these are all the colors i use i use tony volume developer when you're toning 613 hair you do not need to use anything higher than a 10 or 20 developer because it's already bright um so yeah this is what the hair was looking like after I rinsed it out and I'm going in with the 8 and 11, 8 in, 8, 11, and we're doing one part toner and two parts developer. So that means one, you pour the whole bottle of the toner and then you pour the developer two times in the same bottle. So that's one part, two parts. Yeah. And we're going to mix it. So this one I'm focusing more on the roots because this is like a darker, um, I think this was like the darkest color out of all like five that I used I don't know how many I used but this was the darkest one and I wanted it on the roots um so yeah I really like this color this was one of my favorites actually out of all the toners I got so yeah you're just gonna see me put this on the roots and then I'll show you guys the other colors I used um later Okay, so these are the next two colors I used, and I just mixed them in together um, because at the end of the day, they're all gonna, you know, be in the same <laughs> place. So you can just mix them together. And um, I focused this part just on the rest of the hair. Well, actually I focused it on the, you know, top part of the frontal, and then I just eventually poured it on most of the hair, um, as you'll see. And I'll chime back in when I'm on the next color. Okay, so I'm using the T10 for this one, and that's in this black container. And then I'm gonna use the T11. I'm over here dropping stuff. I'm using the T11 in that container. Um, I don't know why I didn't mix these together. I don't know what was going through my head, but I had rinsed out the toner that was on it first, and then I put the T10 and T11 on all over. I honestly could have mixed it together. I don't know why I separated it. But yeah, the T10 and T11 was just on the rest of the hair and I just poured some on um, everywhere, yeah. It's really nothing special. Um, and I just had an old wig brush to use to just, you know, brush through it and make sure that the toner got on all the strands of the hair. And yeah, so that's all for this part and I let it sit for like 30 to 45 minutes, I believe. Um, and as you see, it turned like that purplish color um, and then I rinsed it out um, and that's what it looked like when it was fresh out of the water from washing. It looks very silvery actually, um, but yeah, as you see the roots are darker and I loved it so. 
all right guys so this is how the color is looking right now this is natural light um it is actually a very ashy blonde like it looks like some streaks are like silver like even like this looks a bit more silver um but yeah this is how the color turned out and the roots are a bit darker and that's because i used the um i think it was the 8 and 11 hold on i have it here in 8 11 i put it on the roots and i realized that it's darker and i do like that so i did go back to the beauty supply and i got some more so i'm gonna put this just all in the rest right here on the top right here and i might put some streaks just throughout the hair and then i did get the 9ng um this is what i wanted to use originally on most of the hair but they did not have it in stock at the sally's i went to so i just went somewhere else the next day um so yeah i'm gonna focus this one on the top and then i'm just gonna put this one all throughout the hair whichever it can get i'm not gonna record it just because i'm not sure how it's gonna turn out but um and i do need to let my camera charge so my dumb self forgot to film an outro for this video but this is how the hair color turned out um all these pictures are posted on my instagram um everything will be linked down below so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video